In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create the cross dissolve transition in Premiere Pro, just like this. Tyler here from Video Editing with Tyler White, and if you wanna learn how to edit video like a pro, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. Here inside Premiere Pro, the cross dissolve transition is actually pretty simple, but there are a few things that need to be done in order for the transition to work out smoothly. So inside Premiere Pro, I already have my two clips down under the timeline right here. The first thing I'm gonna do is go up here and open up the editing tab. Then I'm gonna go down here and make this a little bit bigger. And I wanna apply this transition in between the first and second clip, so it'll go right here. But before I can apply that transition, the first thing that I need to do is trim off a little bit at the end of clip number one, as well as the beginning of clip number two in order to make this transition look seamless. So what I'm gonna do is go over here and grab the razor tool. And then for the first clip, I'm gonna cut about right here. And for the second clip, I'm gonna cut about right here. Now what I'm gonna do is just press B on the keyboard to bring back up the selection tool. And then I'm just going to delete this here. Then I'll bring these clips back together. Now I'm just gonna go over here to these double arrows, go down to effects, and I'm gonna type in cross dissolve. Then click and drag that onto clip one and two. Now I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger and I'm gonna double click on this little box here and that's going to bring your transition duration. I recommend that you only do it for about one second. Now I know as an editor, you're gonna wanna see that dissolve transition happen. And sometimes you might think that you wanna do it for two seconds, three seconds, or four seconds. But the goal should be to make it look seamless, almost as if the viewer didn't even notice that the dissolve transition even occurred. The cross dissolve transition should be used to assist in telling the story. If you're using too much of it, it's gonna take away from the story and the viewer's gonna be confused on what's going on. So once you've done that, go ahead and play it back. And that looks pretty good to me. Now, if you come across this error box here, it just means that you didn't trim down those clips like I said at the beginning. So in order to fix this, it doesn't mean that the effect will not work. You just gotta trim down those clips to make it look seamless. So just press okay. And if you watch it play back, you can see that the frame is frozen until it gets into the next clip. And that's not necessarily the look that I'm going for. And this is happening because Premiere doesn't have anything else to go off of other than the beginning of the clip. So if I were to bring this clip up here, all Premiere has is just the beginning of that clip. If I were to bring it over here, bring it back just a little bit and trim this off, bring it back down. Same thing for here. Bring these together and then add the cross dissolve effect. Now Premiere has something that it can read and there's no frozen frames. Continue to perfect your skills by checking out this video. Edit like a pro by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. I'll see you in the next video.